Hi everybody, this lesson is on first and second position on a brach or a preem. Now, when you first learn how to play an instrument, we learned all the notes on the neck of the instrument. And we, and we changed the notes by, let's start on the last string, the E string. So that's your number four string. And, and that's an E, because this is a G brach. And we went up the scale. G, first fret F, third fret G. Then we switched strings to get to the A. It's open A. Second fret B, third fret C. Change strings to the D string, second string. Hit it open, I got a D. Second fret is E, third fret is F. Change strings to get to the G, because we're going up the scale, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it goes back to A. And then we go up, we continue to go up the G string, second fret is A, third fret is B, C, fifth fret, D. Now what? Well, we can keep it going up, but we have to change hand positions, right? E, F, and then I can go up here and play G, but on this instrument, Okay, sounds all right. All right, so what happens here when you have a song and you have a lot of notes that are up here? And then how do you how do you play all the way up and down the instrument? How do you get your hand to move all the way up and down and get all these notes? Do you have to keep moving your hand? Well, the answer is no. What I just showed you here was the first position where you just go right up the instrument. And this is actually called cross fretting, what we're doing here. Watch. This is first position, what I taught you in the beginning. E, F, and I have an E, E, F, G, and then we cross fret, which means we're going to the next string. And then we play B, C, see I'm cross fretting, I'm going to the D, E, F, G, A, B. Now look, as long as your notes are from the fifth fret down, you can just keep your hand in this position and play all the notes. And you can play quite a number of songs this way by just going right across your instrument and your hand never has to move. So there's got to be another way of doing this and playing the songs easy. And that is called second position. So let's look at it. If I go in up on the G string, let's just say I'm playing the G, the notes are all in the G string. And I go to G, and I go to A, and I go to B, C, D, E, F, G. Now what, instead of with the notes that are below this, if the song has notes up here and it has notes down here, you pay close attention here. We only learn the notes up to the fifth fret. But if the strings on the, on the second string and the third string and the fourth string, <clears throat> the neck of the instrument, there's more notes there. So if we look at the D string, and I just go up it, D, E is second fret, third fret is F, fourth fret is G, but the open string is also G. Uh, then up here we have the, the seventh fret, that's an A, but the A is also on the G string there. I keep going up, and that ninth fret is B, but the B is also down here. Okay, now think about this. If I just know that, and let's go to the tenth fret, C. So here's my D string. There's a C up here, and a C down here. Same note. It's the same note on the staff. If you're looking at the G clef, what, where would that be on the G clef? That would be the third space on the staff. So that's C here, but it's also C here because it's the same note. So what is second position then? Second position is, let's say that I have a note here. Let's say it's F. This is the F note. And in the song, I have to go all the way down the instrument and play all the notes like a, like a run, like F, E, D, C, B, A, G. 
Well, instead of moving my hand, I can only use three fingers here. I can go from F to E to D, and then I can go to the D string, and if I go right here, let me do that again. F, E, D. Now this fret right here, there's a position mark on it. So G, A, B, C is also C. So this C and this C are the same. So if I run down the scale, F, E, D, C, B on the D string, A on the D string. And what if, there, what if I want to hit open G? Do I go here and hit this open G? I don't have to. I can go now to the A string and hit the 10th fret, and that's, and that's also G. G, it's the same G, it's the same G. So this is called second position. I'm starting on the G string. I'm playing the F note. I'm using these three fingers only to play all these notes. F, E, D, cross over to the D string, hit the 10th fret, that's C, C, B, A, go over to the A string, hit the G, I can keep going down the scale, F, I'm on the A string now, E, that's the 7th fret, now what's below E, D, well I just go over to the E string, and I play the 10th fret, that's D. I'm, on, I'm still on the E string. C. And I got B. So this B and that B, the B on my A string and the B on my E string are the same. Here I go. Where am I? Sorry about that. I'm on the E string 7th fret and this B are the same note. So second position means I can use three fingers and you can do this and you, actually you can play all your songs this way. If you learn the notes that were higher up on the neck of your instrument, you would never have to run all the way down your instrument and you would only have to use three fingers to play. So let's try this again. So, so say the song, maybe say, let's just stretch the thing and say the highest note in the song is E, I mean G. There's G on this instrument. So in that case, I'm still only using four fingers on the G string, and after that I'm only using three fingers on all the other strings. I'll do it again. So if I go down the scale, G, F, E, D, Switch over, watch what I'm doing, I'm switching to the D string, 10th fret, it's marked. So that's C, B, A, switch over to the A string, it's G, F, E, switch over to the E string, D, C, B. So if I went up the scale this way, so wow, it's amazing, isn't it? So when we did it in the first position, I had to play, I had to go up the scale this way, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Then I have to move my hand, which makes it tough when you're playing a fast song. E, F, G. Well, instead of moving your hand, if you play it in the second position, if you have notes that run all the way up and down the G string, I can go up the scale or down the scale on once and just keep my hand right here. So my little finger is, is on the seventh fret. And that's the D note on the G string. I'm going to go D, E, F. And so if I want to run down the scale, I go F, E, D. Switch to the, the D string, my second string, and hit the 10th fret. C, B, A, 
G on the A string, F, E, go to the E string for the D, so look, now I don't have to run up and down my instrument. True, you're going to have to learn where the notes are higher up on the neck of your instrument when you're just learning. You're just having enough trouble figuring out where the notes are on your instrument. I mean, you might still be having trouble you know, knowing that the open string is E, the first fret is F, third fret is G. Then we go to the A string, it's open A, then B, then C, then D. Then I hit the second fret is E, third fret is F, open string is G, second fret is A, third, I mean fourth fret is B, fifth fret is C, seventh fret is D. But then look what happens. Now I'm going to have to move my hand. And some of these songs, they have notes that are down here and up here. And it's really hard to keep moving your hand back and forth. So, if you know you have a song with notes down here and notes up here on your G string, on your G string, then you go to second position and play the notes. So, if I have notes above C, let's say D, E, F, and G, and, my, and then I have a bad fret there. That's why it sounds like that. So I have G, F, E, and D, and I want it, and I have notes below it. Instead of moving my hand, I just use second position. F, E, D. Go to the D string, 10th fret, C. Next fret below it is B. 7th fret is A. Go to the A string, 10th fret is, uh, where was I? There we go. See that? So I could play all the notes that were down here right across the instrument. That's called second position. All right, I want to let you know about this now. I don't know when a good, a good time to teach second position is. I think you need to know that now because as soon as you get into songs where you're, happy, you're having going to go to higher notes on your G string and you're going to be struggling trying to figure out how to move your hand and play all the notes, especially if it's a faster song, the rule of thumb is this. If you have notes on your G string and they're above the C, so any notes above the C, and there's a lot of notes there, and you have notes below it too, and you're always going to have notes above and below then in that case, you go to second position. So if you have songs with notes above the C, you go to second position and play the notes. Um, so from the D, you put your little finger on the D, F, and then you cross over to go back down the scale. F, E, D, go to my D string for the C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, B, C, D, right? F, F, G, <laughs> uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and my G, I have a bad fret here. And there it is. There's your whole scale, and all you have to do is move three fingers and move them right across your instrument, and you can play almost all the songs, even for the second part. And you can, and it, even on... Uh, um, so if you have notes that go low on your instrument and high, if you just use the second position, you can go all the way down. What's the lowest note I have here? Let's do it again. F, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B. So this B on the, on the E string is the same B as the B on the A string on the second fret. Hear it? That note, same note. So you can go all the way down to your B note in the second position. And it makes playing much, much faster and much, much easier.
So that's called second position. Um, you're just learning your instruments. You need to come back to this when you have notes that are higher on the neck of your instrument above the C on your G string. Almost all the lead players are going to need to know this. If you're playing a second part, sometimes you need to do this, but almost all the time the lead players are up here and they're going to, and second position makes your life so much easier. So just remember, you learned first position, which means you started on E and you just went up the instrument this way. And then when you had to play the higher notes, you had to stretch your hand, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. See, I had to move my hand. So E, F, boy, that G, that fret is really bad. So now I know that I can go down the instrument and not have to move my hand. I can go G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B. See that? Isn't that easy? Second position. So that's what second position means. It'll make your life much, much easier when you play tamborita.